In this question, we want to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bound, bounded by the curves y equals root x plus 2 and y equals x about x axis. So, we want to rotate about x axis. So, we need to graph these two curves. So, let me graph over here y axis x axis y equals root x plus 2. We know the graph of y equals root x. Now, x plus 2 plus 2 inside the root means we need to shift this graph 2 units to the left. So, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, y equals root x plus 2. And the other curve is y equals x, just identity. y equals x. Now the region bounded by these two curves is this. This is 0, this is negative 2. Now we need to find this coordinate. In fact, if you graph using your graphing calculator, you can easily see this. Let me show you. Okay, let's graph. So, root x plus 2 and root just x graph and I zoom I zoom in I can see now this is just 2 1 2 this is, this is 2 and y equals x so this is also 2 okay in fact you can find using algebra the point of intersection we want to uh, we want to set these two equal because y equals x again y equals root x plus 2 that means at this point these two should be equal so x equals x plus 2 and solve this equation square both sides uh, subtract x and 2 x square minus x minus 2 equals 0 factor x x 2 2 times 1 2 minus minus plus x equals 2 x equals negative 1 that's not in the range so this is not the case x equals 2 okay now we want to rotate this region about x axis and there's a little bit of problem uh, negative 2 to 0 the lower curve is just x axis so y equals 0 but for this part from 0 to this is 1 0 to 2 the lower curve is y equals x the upper curve is always root x plus 2 so to find the volume of the solid so we need to divide in two parts divide into two parts because from negative 2 to 0 the lower curve is just y equals 0 the x axis means y equals 0 from 0 to 2 the lower curve is y equals x okay now let's consider this part then on the right our sample slice will be here let's find this slice and when we rotate about the x axis so we get a hollow inside so washer and on this part from negative 2 to 0 the sample slice when we rotate about x axis we get a disc there is no hollow inside so we get a disc okay so for this disc so let me write in this way uh, per negative 2 to 0 we get a disc okay and this is the radius so the radius is always given by y coordinate this y coordinate is root x plus 2 so this is root x plus 2 then the area of this disk area in terms of x is pi radius square pi r square so radius is root x plus 2 square cancel so x plus 2 pi x plus 2 okay now for 0 to 2 so let me erase this part 
we will get a washer okay so for 0 to 2 we have a washer and this sample cross section is now here so this is our sample uh, this sample slice is here so this is sample cross section which is a washer and we want to find the area to find the area of this washer we need the outer radius so this is the x axis so outer radius uppercase r and inner radius lowercase r so uppercase r from x axis to outer curve from here look at the curve here from x axis to outer curve that's the r outer curve is root x plus 2 so this is root x plus 2 now inner curve sorry inner radius inner radius is from x axis to to bottom curve so this pink which is just y y is just x so r is just x okay the outer radius and inner radius in terms of x variable then the area in terms of x is pi outer radius square minus pi inner radius square because we need to subtract this hollow part which is pi pi we can pull pi factor out and r is square so root x plus 2 is square just x plus 2 minus pi is out r is square means x is square okay so to find the volume we need to do two separate definite integrals let me go down here thus the volume will be negative 2 to 0 we have a disk so ax dx plus 2 0 to 2 another area dx which is in fact we already found the area so negative 2 to 0 this area is area of disk so pi x plus 2 dx plus 0 to 2 this is the area of this washer so pi x plus 2 minus x square dx let's evaluate these two definite integrals uh, which is calculus one and done we can always pull pi outside let's find the integral of x which is x square over 2 plus integral of 2 to x and we want to go from negative 2 to 0 plus pi outside x integral of x is x square over 2 integral of 2 is 2x minus integral of x square is x 2 plus 1 3 over 3 and we go from 0 to 2 pi is outside evaluate this at the upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is 0 so when we evaluate we get 0 upper limit minus evaluate this at the lower limit okay so when we evaluate the lower limit negative 2 negative 2 is squared 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus 2 times negative 2 negative plus negative 4 that's the first part plus pi evaluate this at the upper limit minus lower limit lower limit is 0 so it makes everything 0 don't have to worry 2 square 4 over 2 2 plus 2 times 2 4 minus 2 cubed 8 divided by 3 8 thirds minus lower limit no need to worry so this is in fact 2 plus negative 4 2 minus 4 negative 2 minus negative 2 is just 2 so 2 pi plus how many pi's we get here uh, 2 plus 4 6 uh, eight thirds. 6 is same as how many thirds 6 times 3 18 thirds 18 thirds minus 8 thirds 10 thirds so 10 thirds pi in total 10 thirds 2 is same as 6 thirds 6 thirds 
plus 10 thirds, 16 thirds pi cubic units final 